All right, I think everybody has gotten into the news about what's going on with Bungie. And of course, they put out an article this Thursday, not this week's article, but a little article before detailing what's going to be happening with Shadowkeep. And Shadowkeep is going to be delayed. And I think this is a good good business decision for Bungie. And I'm going to give my honest reason why this is a good business decision for Bungie. I know a lot of people are probably going to be saying, well, that's not fair. That's not good. They should at least release this game uh, what's going to be happening? What's happening? Oh, their game's not finished. It's not that their game is not finished. It probably isn't finished. But at the same time, you want a good polished game. And you want something finished from the get-go. That's what you need to be worried about at this point. I think a lot of people need to understand that. Like, you want a finished game. And Bungie wants to give you a finished game. So this is a good thing for Bungie to kind of like... You know, make sure that their game is running smoothly and make sure that their game is finished smoothly. And I think that's a good thing that Bungie's doing that, that they're delaying their game. Because I went through the calendar in, for GameStop for September and there's a lot of good decent games coming out in September. And that's a good business decision. You do not want to be have Shadowkeep to be basically lost in time for that reason. You want Shadowkeep to be up there and we want Shadow Keep to be known amongst everybody because this is gonna be a really fantastic DLC. And this is not the first time that games delay their games for better reasons. It is they delay their games for a good reason. Meaning they want to make sure that their game is running smoothly. They want to make sure that their game is not glitchy and not crashing. Especially when they're going to cross save and especially they're not going to be on battle net no more. So they gotta make sure that all the elements and everything are moved transitionally smoothly. So maybe they need more time to transition smoothly from Battle.net to Steam because they're an independent company now. They're doing their things by themselves. So they don't have like another, you know, publisher breathing down their neck to push this game. We, we want you to make the quarter because, you know, if they were with Activision at the, as we speak, yes, this game was, was set to release on September 7th because they want to make that quarter because, of course, next month is going to be Call of Duty. So they want to make that money quarter and make that money for this year so you know they don't have to worry about that publisher breathing down their neck pushing them to giving them a finished product game then you know they want to make this game very solid for us who are our big you know big fans of this franchise and of course making sure that you and your friends are accompanied with a good quality game and of course you know that bungie well, Destiny 2 in general, it's going to be a free to play game so you know they want to make sure all the elements and all the cards are you know, basically stacked correctly and not scatter all over the place. And and for me personally, this is good. It saves me money because, you know, I had a lot of games that I want to buy in September. And then, you know, Shadow Keep got pushed back. So that's a good thing. I wasn't gonna buy Shadow Keep in August. I was gonna buy it in September because I had, you know, some time limits in between there because I didn't want to buy this game quickly and you know, whatever. Because I'm gonna buy it on PC and of course I'm gonna buy it on console because of course you know, they're going to cross save and, you know, I want to make sure that I get to play my characters on PC a little bit more. So that's a good thing. Um, they have some house cleaning um, for some more dates that they want you to make sure that you understand and make sure that you get through correctly. So the world first of the new raid garden of salvation will begin on Saturday, October 5th. It's a weekend raid race and a contestant will be active so the contest will be active and everything is going to be good we extended moments of triumph through september 17th you have three more weeks to complete this year's challenge and all log all in game and bungie rewards so that's a good thing because i was trying to figure because you know <laughs> my my job cut my hours and i'm trying to like get this moments of triumph t-shirt and want to make sure that i have enough money but i will have enough money headed into september and this month so thank you bungie you know, Bungie thought about, you know, people with financial issues and financial problems and people buying a lot of games in September. They want to make sure that everybody's financial is financially correct and financially okay. So that's a good thing. Thank you, Bungie, for doing that. We're going to run additional Iron Banner uh, the week of September as well. So that's a good thing, too. Cross Save will come online later this summer. So we'll have time to sort out your friends list and the head of Shadow Keep. So that's a good thing. So Cross Saves will come out all uh, will come online later this summer. Probably next well this month of August later. It depends. So that's a good thing. And then you know Shadow Keep news uh new release date is gonna be October first, twenty nineteen. It's been delayed for that month. 
and for that week. And of course, the raid is going to start on October 5th, and that's a good thing. For me personally, I know a lot of people are probably saying, oh, their game is not finished. Their game is finished, but maybe they are come across some things where, you know, they want things to be done and want things to go correctly. So that's a good thing. Um, I think their game is finished. And I think their game is done. So I think people need to, you know, understand that this is a good thing. The reason why I said this is a good thing is because, you know, you want a finished game. You don't want an unfinished game. And that's a good thing. You want a finished game. That's all that matters. And... Some people say, you know, a delay game is always a good game. A game that is rushed is a bad game. I mean, look at Wolfenstein Youngblood. That game looked like it was rushed, and people said it's the most trashest game that they ever played. Look at Anthem. Anthem was rushed and, you know, put out there. And where is Anthem as we speak? I remember people saying that Anthem is going to be the Destiny killer. I remember that in the comic session, that Anthem is going to kill off Destiny. And more like Destiny kill off Anthem. And Division 2 was going to be the Destiny killer. And too much people are not playing Division 2 as we speak. It's still a good game, but nobody's not really playing this game as we speak. All these games that people are saying that's going to be the Destiny killer. And Destiny's still going strong these coming months. So that's a good thing. And I'm happy for that. When you rush a game, a game is unfinished. When a game is delayed, it's the best game that has ever been put out. And that goes for Horizon Zero Dawn. I remember Horizon Zero Dawn was delayed. And I was a little upset about it. And that the, at the end of the day, when I looked at that game, I said that was a well-finished game. And that's all that really matters at this point. You want a well-finished game for your community. Your community is putting their hard-earning money into this game. You want to make sure that this game is finished and polished at the end of the day. It might not be perfect, but at least it would be at least decent and polished to run their game smoothly. And that's, a, that's the most important thing about games being delayed. When a game is being delayed, that's a good thing. When a game's been in a rush, that's a bad thing. That means that game is trash and it's going to be garbage. And you waste $60 to $100 on a game that hasn't been finished. The same thing goes with Call of Duty Black Ops 4. That game was rushed. And look at it. It's trash. <laughs> so when people talk about, oh, that's not fair. Why is this game delayed? Just understand this point. You want a finished game, not an unfinished product. In the meantime, if you guys have any questions or any concerns, let me know in the comment section down below uh, what you guys think about this, this delay. I think this delay is best for Bungie, and that's a good thing. I think this is a good thing for Bungie to have this game delay. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you leave a like on this video, and I will catch you guys in my next post.